Hello, class. Can you hear me? Hello. We can hear you now. Okay, well, great. Thank I you. I can hear you now. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Well, if you can hear me, the whole class should be able to hear me. Somebody besides Susanna. Hello, can you hear me? Good evening, I can hear you. Thank you, Laura. So only Susanna and Laura can hear me. Good evening, I can hear you, teacher. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Edgar, Edgar, I see you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay, you. Please say hi, hi, because I need to know who's listening, because if not, then I have a technical problem. All right. Samuel, Edson, Catherine, Laura, Tanya, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Hello, Edson, thank you. Nidia, where are you? Yes, very near my Okay. Okay. Hi, Hi, Nidia. Are you in a pharmacy? Yes, I work in the pharmacy. Okay. Yeah, I see. I see that. Okay, good. <laughs> All right. Hello, class. How are you? My name is David. I will be your teacher. Hi, David. Hi, Susan. Les voy a hablar español cinco minutos. Because it's the first, uh, it's the first class, so we're going to set expectations. Okay, uno. Oh. De entrada, ya estamos haciendo algo mal. No todos. Cuando dije hello, unos me estaban oyendo, pero simplemente no querían contestar. Ok, está bien. A lo que les voy a decir es que necesito dos cosas. Y eso es de parte de Insaform también. Eh, por favor... Si tienen una cámara, enciéndanla. Hemos tenido bastantes problemas de gente reclamo, pues, hey, no entendí esto. ¿no? Y cuando la gente, y cuando en Zafo regresa a la clase, ven que esta persona obviamente nunca estuvo activa en la clase. En pocas palabras, es una forma para saber si la persona está en clase. ¿Sí? Porque por lo visto hay mucha gente, no estoy diciendo ustedes, pero hay mucha gente que enciende la clase y la tienen de fondo. No sé si están viendo otra cosa, están chatting, están en algo. Es una hora de su vida que van a dedicar, aprovechen a lo máximo. Ok. Ok, ok, Tania. Entonces, eso sí le voy a pedir, porque otra cosa, háganlo por respeto a sus compañeros. Porque, por ejemplo, si ustedes nunca, imagínense, por ejemplo, ahorita estoy viendo a Susan, Joana, Edgar, Irma, todo lo que tienen cámara, gracias. Si ustedes los estoy viendo a la hora de hacer una pregunta, obviamente se lo voy a hacer a ustedes. Pero también no puedo ser mala onda y no preguntarle a quien no tiene cámara. Pero un ejemplo, si le pregunto a un Miguel, porque Miguel... Lo veo conectado, que okay, no tiene cámara. Ok, Miguel, what do you think? ¿Saben qué pasa? Se queda, soy esto. Hello, hello, hi, hi, teacher. <ríe> Significa que al fondo yo que hey, dijeron mi nombre. Y entonces, eh, quizás ni estaban poniendo atención en la clase o algo. Entonces, una falta de respeto para sus compañeros que sí están poniendo atención. ¿Me entienden? Entonces, también una, yo, no, yo no les quiero faltar el respeto de no, no, no tomarlos en cuenta, que no participen simplemente por el hecho que no tienen una cámara, pero el problema es que la gente que no tiene cámara no participan, la mayoría. Entonces, Miguel, hello, Miguel, 
Bueno, entonces no voy a poder. Sofía. Sofía, y yeah. así a la larga después me contestó. Ah, hi teacher, I'm sorry, can you repeat please? Eh, no tenía mi, mi, mi... Entonces ahí... Bueno, entienden a lo que voy. ¿verdad? Entonces, por favor, eh, de verdad, eh, participen en la clase. Ah, otra cosa. Ustedes saben que es ser activo y pasivo, ¿correcto? Activo y pasivo es... Activo es el que hace la acción, pasivo es el que recibe la acción. Generalmente en las clases de inglés, los alumnos tienden a ser pasivos. Hay muchos que solo les encanta oír y tomar notas por algo de motivo. ¿Qué significa eso de que son, solo son pasivos? Les gusta recibir, pero no les gusta interactuar. Por eso es de que... ¿Saben cuántas veces en mi vida he oído eso? Hey, ¿tú das clases de inglés? Sí. Mira, fíjate que yo tengo un problema. Yo entiendo todo, pero lo que me cuesta es hablarlo. Es por eso. Porque mucha gente solo se dedica a, a absorber, a oír, 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 oír. Y a la hora de hablar no le gusta hablar. ¿Se va a ver eso acá? Cuando les diga, Do you have any questions? Ni me dicen ni sí ni no. Y aquí realmente yo espero que se equivoquen. No quiero eso, pero espero que lo hagan porque es la lógica. Por eso están ustedes en este nivel. Pero el objetivo es que quiero que se equivoquen y los quiero corregir y les quiero decir por qué. Para que no vuelvan a decir eso otra vez. Yo tengo más de 20 años de dar clases. Puedo captar estar bien rápido en qué falla alguien, pero también no le voy a decir, mire, este es su problema, porque también si ustedes no quieren participar, no los puedo obligar. Les estoy diciendo esto, solo este día se lo voy a decir, porque ya van a ver, acuérdense mis palabras, va a pasar, va a pasar, a veces voy a tener 15 personas y voy a estar hablando yo solo, imagínense, yo soy el que más va a hablar en toda una hora y soy el que menos necesita hablar inglés. Entonces a lo que voy es, por favor, sean activos. Si tienen miedo de equivocarse, de verdad están en la clase equivocada, porque aquí espero que se equivoquen, que se tienen que quitar ese miedo, porque para eso es, están acá para aprender. Entonces, en pocas palabras, eh, Joana, ¿usted estudió matemáticas? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Yes. Ok, ahorita solo en español, ya no sé por qué le estoy diciendo eso. Oh. Usted, sí, usted sí. estudió matemáticas, sí, ok. Sí. ¿Usted estudió para bailar? No. ¿Lo aprendió? No. Un ejemplo, pero puede bailar. Usted aprendió, eh... estudió a cocinar, estudió a planchar, estudió a lavar. No, todas no, esas cosas las aprendió. Pero puede. Uh -huh, Exacto. Las aprendí. ¿Por qué puede? Porque lo aprendió. Entonces, a lo que voy es todo lo que es una acción. Todo lo que es una acción, bailar, planchar, cocinar, manejar, nadar, esas cosas no se aprenden. Les disculpen, no se estudian, se aprenden. Ahora, matemáticas, usted me dijo que las estudió, esas cosas sí se estudian. ¿Qué es la diferencia de estudiar y aprender? Estudiar es como más para como retenerlo, para un conocimiento, pero aprender es más para ponerlo en práctica. Y adivinen qué, el inglés, ¿qué es lo que ustedes quieren del inglés? Quieren hablarlo. Entonces, por ende, hablar se aprende, no se estudia. Entonces, de entrada, quitémonos esa mentalidad ahorita que están estudiando inglés, están aprendiendo. Y yo entiendo por qué tienen esa mentalidad, porque todo, ah, voy a clases y todos van con su cuaderno y tomar notas, está bien, tomen notas, no hay problema. Pero el problema es ahí donde la gente empieza a caer a ser pasivos porque solo toman notas y absorben, 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 y después no hablan. Entonces de nada sirvió. Yo siempre doy un perfecto ejemplo. Mi esposa nunca va a manejar, no puede manejar, nunca va a manejar, y por lo visto, nunca lo va a hacer. Y saben que ella pagó dos clases, dos cursos. Pagó dos cursos desde de 30 clases, no sé qué. Pero ¿por qué? Mi esposa optó a estudiar las reglas. Quería estudiar y a manejar se aprende. O sea, si uno no se pone atrás del timón. Entonces, cuando la, la, la razón que les digo esto es porque 
cuando voy manejando yo a veces mi esposa dice, no, esta es avenida, es tu alto. Y yo, guapo, se puede todas las reglas, pero... Y a veces le digo, ¿por qué no manejas vos entonces? No, no puedo. Entonces, eso lo veo a veces similar con alguien que, es, que quiere aprender inglés. Que puede muy bien la gramática, pero no lo habla. ¿Por qué? Porque solo se dedicó a oír y a, a tomar notas, a tomar notas, a tomar notas y nunca lo puso en práctica. <ríe> si me entienden a lo que voy, similar a mi esposa. Y ojalá no me esté viendo. <ríe> si no, ya la regué. <ríe> ok, entonces, por favor, les vuelvo a repetir. Necesito que estén activos. Necesito que me hagan preguntas. No hay pregunta tonta. No hay pregunta tonta. Yo, yo no tengo miedo. Yo no sé quizás porque soy profesor. Yo no tengo miedo en, en hacer una pregunta tonta que suene tonta. Cuando yo voy al hospital, cuando llevo a mi hijo de un pediatra y el pediatra me da el diagnóstico, yo no lo entiendo. Yo le pregunto, mire, me lo puede explicar. <risa> porque a veces lo, los pediatras, los doctores dan unos sus diagnósticos como que si nosotros vamos a entender. Sí, fíjese que el ligamento interno, que es el bla, 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 bla. como los dentistas, sí, fíjese que su pieza superior de, de número 3 la tiene fracturada. Y yo, <ríe> Mi pieza, ¿qué? ¿Qué? qué? <ríe> o sea, yo solo sé lo básico que tengo dientes, pero si me dice, ah, ok, los dientes de arriba, cuente de aquí, cuatro para atrás, ajá, esa, esa tiene fracturada. Ah, ok, thank you, doctor. Ya. Yeah. Pero si yo solo me quedo, ah, ajá, ajá, ok. Y me voy a la casa y me acuerdo que me preguntaba a mi mamá, ¿y qué te dijo la doctora? No sé, que tengo una pieza fracturada, la número, no me acuerdo qué número me dio. O sea, por gusto fui porque pagué la consulta, me dio el diagnóstico y quedé igual. Ya, yeah. <ríe> más o menos tengo la idea, pero si yo hubiera cambiado esa poca idea, Doctora, ¿me puede explicar bien? No entendí bien. Ah, ok, vino esta doctora y me explicó. Así como les dije, ah, ven sus dientes de frente, cuente cuatro para atrás, sí, ok, esa es su pieza y esa es la cuatro y la tiene mal. Ah, ok, entonces cuando llegué, mamá, ¿qué te dijo la doctora? Fíjese que tengo este diente malo, este que tengo que arreglar. Ah, ok, simplemente por hacer la pregunta. Y así va a ser en inglés, ok. Entonces, por favor, si no entienden algo, Pregúntenme, porque todo el mundo, la mayoría se dice, ajá. Ya van a ver, se los voy a repetir bastantes veces. Do you have questions? Va a haber un silencio total. Y yo sé, yo sé quién no entiende. Yo sé quién no entiende y no puedo decirle, hey, tú, yo sé que no entiendes, ¿por qué no me preguntas? Porque tampoco los puedo obligar. Entonces participen, ayúdenme y les ayudo. Wow, está lloviendo súper fuerte aquí en mi casa. Ok, English now. Cecilia de Los Ángeles, Adrián Ram. Wow, your name is very long. Yes, teacher, it's true. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, are you married or that's your name? Cecilia de Los Ángeles. That's my name. Okay. So where do you live, Cecilia? I live in Ilopango. In Ilopango. Okay. What do you do? I am a, an assistant. Ooh. Where do you work? I work at home. Nice. Yes. <laughs> so what you I'm sorry, like you work in a in a call center? No, no, no. I am an assistant, a personal assistant, but I work at home. Very nice. Very yes. Okay. Um, do you prefer to work at home or in an in an office? I prefer to work at at home. I I think it's better because I don't have to fight with the traffic. Mm -hmm. So I have uh, more time yes. to do something else. That's good, yes, but there are some bad parts. It's very hot. <laughs> yes, yes, it's true. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, uh, me too, I work from home in the, in the, in the day. And um, sometimes I wish I can be in the office with the air conditioning. And... Yeah. I miss that. You it's know, true. You have the jacket <laughs> and, oh, it's cold. 
All right. Okay, Cecilia. So thank you. So you are from Milopango. You're an assistant. Um, you tell us about you. Uh, are you married? Uh, do you have yes, children? I am married. I have a son, and um, uh, my hobbies are a. Uh, read, listen to music, watch a movie, and I am um, um, uh, teacher, but uh, uh, I don't know how do you say a, a escuela biblica? Bible study. Bible study. Oh, yes. nice. Well, yes. cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, you listen to what she said because I'm going to ask you, class, about third person. So I want to hear how she said, he said. Okay, Irma, tell us about you. Can you, you might... Yes, I can hear you perfect now. And I have a little problem with my headset. <laughs> no problem. Because the mic microphone doesn't work. Okay, but, but I, can, I can hear you very good. I mean, okay. Uh, I'm very happy because I am starting in the class. Good. All right. uh, I live in Sayapango City. <laughs> okay. Sayapango. Uh, tomorrow I start in a new job. Wow, nice. But it's only for a month. <laughs> only Where? Month. Where are you going to work? And. Uh, I will I will work at Mall Cascadas mm -hmm. and Soho okay. and bookstore bookstore uh, from Uka. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, so from Soyapango you have to go to Cascadas. Yeah. Anyway, always is I have to do it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Because what? I need the money. <laughs> of course, I understand. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, for one month, hey, but you never know. Maybe it can be permanent. Yeah. All right. And um, what time do you start? At eight? At eight. Tomorrow so, at so, eight and uh, from eight to five PM. So what time will you leave your house? Like at five in the morning? Um, tomorrow I have to leave home uh, at 5 a.m. Yeah. 5 a.m. for any problem that can... My wife... Traffic. My, my wife has a cousin that she works in a bank in um, Gran Via, I think. Mm. And she lives in Soyapango and she tells us that she, like, sometimes 4.30 or... Five in the morning, she has to go. Oh, difficult. Yeah. Yeah. And I live with my nephew. Mm -hmm. My nephew is living here uh, since last year. And I am single. I am still single. <laughs> I don't have, <laughs> I don't have any child yet. And I think that I won't have <laughs> because and, mm -hmm. no, that's so. And nice to meet you. Because... Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. All right. Next we have Edson. <laughs> Edson Stanley, are you there? Yes. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Rich. Hi, Edson. I have a question. Where does Cecilia live? Uh, Cecilia, uh, she lives in Soyapango. Very good. No, she doesn't. She lives close, but. Termina en go. <laughs> Near me... to the lake. Near yeah. to the lake. Apulo. Airport. Mm -hmm. Soyapango City. <laughs> airport, the airport. The airport and the Comalapa Airport, and then the other airport is in the 
Y lo pongo. Como señor, y lo pongo. <laughs> That's okay. All right, so tell us about you, um, Edson. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I live in uh, Ciudad Delgado. Mm -hmm. Ciudad Delgado. Uh, I live with my my wife, my my son. Okay. And I in uh, I work in the house, uh, warehouse assistant and glass installer. And uh, sell salesman on online shoes. I'm sorry. What do you install? Yes, and uh, install the glasses. Oh, glass! You glass. Install glass. Okay. And you sell shoes. Yes. So you have online. two jobs. You have two jobs. Yes, two jobs. Okay, yeah, because I was thinking shoes and glass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> two, two jobs, exactly. Uh, All right. And I'm sorry, where, where, where did you say you live? Uh, repeat, please. Where, where did you say you live? I uh, live in the Ciudad Delgado. Ciudad Delgado, okay. All right, good. Yes. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Laura. Thank you, sure. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, my name is Laura Mauricio. I'm married and I have a daughter, Diana. I work at UCA in Antigua and I live in Bando. And uh, for Irma. I'm sorry, I... where, where do you live? Ilopango. Okay. And for Irma, I, I take a bus, which and make a direct travel from Alta Vista to Merliot. So she can take the bus if she wants. It's the bus pass over uh, Autopista de Oro, almost 5.80, and maybe she can take the bus in Paseo Venezia. Wait, so you only take one bus from your house to La Uca? Yes. And so you live in Alta Vista? No, I live in a tank. Over Autopista de Oro. Oh, okay. Hey, that's cool. So you only take one bus? Yes, it's a it's a private bus. Oh. Uh -huh. So maybe Irma can talk to the bus <laughs> because she said she's going to work at Soho. Yeah, listen, Irma. There's a uh, there's a direct thank bus. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, Irma, you should really take that information with Laura later because uh, yeah. it's a direct Maybe bus. in the group she can write to me and yes. I'm going to give her the information. Yeah, very good. I very agree. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, thank you. And now we have Susana. Welcome, Susana. Tell us about you. Hi, hello. Um, well, my name is Susana, and um, I live in Santa Tecla, actually. And yeah. I work for a video surveillance company. Um, I have a daughter. I'm single. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> well, you work for a surveillance company? Yeah. So what do you do? Do you watch, like, the surveillance videos? I watch cameras. That's what I do. You know what? But That's this... so cool. I always wanted to do that. Yeah, it actually is pretty cool. But sometimes the schedules are so long that it's kind of... Um, oh, wait. It? Is uh, it that company that you work at night? Uh, sometimes. It's 24 hours, actually. So can be at morning or afternoons so or at night, wherever. And do you work in, is it, is it an American company? Yeah, actually, yeah. And what, where's the surveillance? Uh, sorry, can, can you repeat that for me? So, so you, you watch surveillance videos, correct? Cameras. Yes. Yeah. Where are the cameras? Mm -hmm. in, in, in a mall? Uh, 
city. No, uh, it depends. Sometimes we check um construction size. Sometimes in buildings, uh, like um uh houses or 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 apartment buildings. So it depends. Have you? Do you have any interesting story? Like, oh my God, you, you saw a robber. I or... have a lot. I have many, but I can't talk about that. I'm so sorry. Oh I, no, no, I, no. I, I understand. I imagine. <laughs> I imagine. Yeah, but yeah. I, that's why I imagine that that's a that's an interesting job. Yeah, actually, it is. But there's too long hours. I mean, sometimes uh, today I did sixteen hours, so I feel like. <laughs> wow. 16 hours yeah yeah but all you have to do is just watch the cameras right uh it depends if something happened i have to report like uh yes report it or sometimes i call the police or send a guard that uh is on the on the on the um, on duty yeah on duty thank you so it depends interesting very good all right thank you yeah. all right now we have johanna Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Uh, my name is Joanna de Hernandez. I'm mm -hmm. 40 years old. I'm married. Uh, I have two sons. I have business. A business. I sell shoes online. What do you do I online? Live in Los Angeles. I sell shoes online. Women's shoes? Sorry? Do you sell women's shoes? I sell shoes. Yes, women's shoes or uh, both, uh, sex, both sex. Women and men. Okay. All right, good. Uh, I I live in Lopango. Okay. Uh, I call me Johanna. All right, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, it's a lot of people from that side. Lopango, Soyapango. All right, Irma. Hello. Hi, Irma. Hi. Let me see because. No, no, I'm have... sorry. I'm sorry, Irma Raquel. I'm sorry. I, I just. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Irma Raquel. I am married. I have two daughters. I live in Washington. I am housewife. Irma, I, I love what. I'm sorry. How old are you? If you don't have to answer, but I am housewife. No, how old are you? I. <laughs> how old are you? Twenty one, twenty two. Um, I had thirty three. Yeah. You are 33. Oh, man. The reason why I ask you is because when you said I am married and I have two children, I don't know. I imagine you were 17. So <laughs> you, you look you look very, very young. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. OK, welcome. OK, Edgar. Hi, good evening. Edgar, uh, what, my... what, what is that behind you? That is a, it's a window behind this. That's that's nice. It's very abstract. Like like curtain. Oh, okay. I like that. It is very yeah. nice. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. So tell us about you, Edgar. Uh, okay. I live in Chalatenango. I'm from oh. Chalatenango as, as well. And I, for living, I have a, a little grocery store. And also a uh, single money. I am married. I like any kind of music, but reggaeton. Except uh, reggaeton. Yeah. Uh, I like to practice sport, soccer, or baseball. My wife used to play softball. She's like teacher. And... We enjoy some time when we go out to any river, any lake, or sometimes we also go to the sea. Excellent. Very nice. 
Thank you. Okay. Glad to meet you. How is you said Chalatenango, right? Yes. Yeah, I would love to live outside San Salvador, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> San Salvador is the traffic is horrible. Yeah. yeah. All right, and Catherine. Hello. Alejandra. Hi. I am Catherine. <laughs> I am twenty-five years old. Really, I you are twenty-five. Oh my God! You look fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I live in Mariona okay. in Delgado. I live with my parents. Mm -hmm. I am a lawyer. Oh, nice. And actually, yes, I work in a um, in judicial center and in Juzgado. Mm -hmm. And. Um, my hobbies are listening to music, reading, and watching Korean dramas. Yeah. Korean? Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I, like that. I heard that's good, you know, the Korean soap opera scene. Yes. Yeah, I heard I heard they're good. All right. Isa nos fue Nidia. Hi, Nidia. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Tell us about you. Yes, sir. my name is Nidia Marroquín. I live in Sonsonate City. Mm -hmm. I'm 41 years old. And I live with my husband, with my two sons. I work in the pharmacy. And, and you are working at, in this moment? I working at the company. Uh, you know what? In the in the moment in the pharmacy, in the moment in the work pharmacy. Yes. Oh, nice. Hey, good for you. Mm -hmm. So, right, I I imagine right now you are with air conditioning. No, I don't know. You are in a pharmacy right now, correct? Yes. Yes. Uh huh. So, do you you are under air conditioning, correct? Yes. Yeah. That's what I love about yes. pharmacies. They they always have the air conditioning full blast. Uh -huh. See? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Exactly. All right, good. Thank you. Okay, now I don't know if Jose, Daniel, Reina Elizabeth, Samuel, or Tanya are online. Yeah, yeah. Hey, someone call me. Someone call me. Hello, Reina. Okay. Reina, hi. I think you have a bad connection. Or my connection, maybe. I'm sorry. Yes, it's, uh, my house is raining. Okay. No, no. Yeah, no worries. I understand. I'm in my house, too. Okay, um, Samuel Isaac, are you there? Tania Pamela, are you there? Good evening. Hello, Tania. My name is Tania Pamela Montoya. Okay. I, I live in, in San Miguel, La Latica. Oh my God, I you live in San Miguel? In, uh -huh, I work in bakery. Mm -hmm. And the collection K. And I have all my two. And my hobby is listening to music. Mm -hmm. I do watching TV, the series. Um, okay. How is that? Yeah. I, I can't imagine how San Miguel is. I mean, San Miguel is extremely hot. And El Salvador is hot. It's San Salvador is hot. So I can't imagine San Miguel in this moment. Yes, and, and, and the rain in the Okay, it's raining. Okay, good. Okay. okay. Jose Daniel Chavez, are you there? Okay. Jose Daniel Chavez, Samuel Isaac, los llamo, no han chateado, no sé si están conectados o no. Les vuelvo repito, por favor, por respeto a la 
clase, a sus compañeros, si van a ser parte de la clase, háganos saber, si no, solo nos quieren tener de fondo escuchando, it's ok, pero necesito saber eso, porque si no, no los, no, no les hago preguntas. Ok, ok, class, so thank you, let's start. So, we are, we are going to start class. Advance to, let me open the portal. Oh, and my name is David Baltrons. I live in San Salvador. I am married. I have one beautiful boy. Only one and no more. <laughs> <laughs> one is enough. And um, I live by Paso del Jaguar. I don't know if you know. I know the place. No, I don't actually. El Paso de Jaguar is um. I envy you. Why? Because it's near, it's near to my work. <laughs> oh yeah, it's true. Near La Uca. <laughs> but but you know what? It's believe it or not. If I want to go to La Uca at eight in the morning from my house, maybe I can take, I will take like one hour. And I live like five minutes from La Uca. Yes, I, I believe you. It's the trafficking of the prosperous is the horrible thing. In the in the in the El Salvador, maybe. Yes, is is with it's my husband. We we talk about that. That maybe the process is free only between twelve midnight to three a.m. You know what? And I don't I don't understand what I mean. It. I think the traffic is pollo campero, honestly. <laughs> Yes, maybe. It, yeah, because like from from, El hermano lejano to La Uca, it's it's amazing the traffic. And on Sundays, it's very easy. It's like in, in like on a Sunday morning, I can go to Merliot in six minutes. Yes, I feel the problem is uh, the uh, the way to um, to Salvador del Mundo when the bus returns to Antiguo Cusatlan and the other cars go to Hospital Salvador and that way I don't remember the name of that way. Yeah, I that's think that's true. the problem. That's true. Class, do you do you see my screen? What do you see? Inglés pre avanzado módulo 2? Yes, yes, I can see your screen. Yes. I don't. Yes. I, yeah, I see it. Oh, wait, hold on. Do you see it now? Yes, teacher. Yes. All right. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. So we have five yes, sections teacher. we will cover in four weeks. It's very, listen, for me, it's really not important to advance fast. For me, it's more important to understand. Okay. You, re you have to understand. Please remember, ask questions participate and I like to explain hay una cosa que se llama kiss kiss is kiss pero un beso que se llama keep it simple and silly 
simple, stupid. Keep it simple and silly. Eso significa mantenerlo simple y tonto. O, pero es que, es que realmente se oye más ofensivo en español, pero en inglés no lo es. ¿A qué me refiero a eso? A la hora de explicar, hay que usar kiss. Catherine, Alejandra. El idioma de abogados es horrible. Yeah. Yes, no existe. Solo, solo en la ley. Le digo porque una vez me tocó hacer traductor para un, un, ¿cómo se llama? No sé, un documento. Y solo en esos documentos, y lo tenía que traducir literalmente. Y recuerdo que decía, el sujeto cuyo nombre al tal cual se le refleja. O sea, what the hell al tal cual cuyo o sea, es un idioma que no usamos todos los días. Entonces después nos dijeron, hey, ok, háganlo en kiss. Keep it simple, manténlo simple y todo la traducción. Ok, el sujeto, quien es el dueño de esta, de esta casa, al cual... De, ah, pero me entienden a lo que voy, es cuando... Ustedes nunca han tenido un problema que han ido donde un mecánico, los que no saben de carros, yo soy uno, o un doctor excepto Nidia, porque, bueno, Nidia debe tener eh, esos ejemplos. Yo detesto ir a veces a, a, a farmacias y, y preguntar, mire, ¿qué es bueno para la tos? Y me empiezan a dar unas explicaciones de lo que ustedes estudiaron, del vocabulario que ustedes usaron en su universidad. Bueno, fíjese que se trae una toxina que es bueno para la, la, la kirikiti, kirikiti, y empiezan a hablar la que, oh, what the hell? me perdieron. Entonces, yo le digo, pero eso me va a curar, sí, ah, pues deme uno. Entonces, a lo que voy es, así es el inglés también. A mí me gusta dar la respuesta, a mí me gusta dar una explicación súper fácil. ¿Saben qué es la diferencia de I y me? No. Eh, I is a personal pronoun. ¿En me? En me is an other way to say that it's me. <laughs> Actually, it's Irma, a... I is a subject pronoun because the subject does the action of the verb that takes place. Me is a personal, uh, it's a, it's an objective pronoun because it will receive the action of the verb. Do you understand? Yes. No. <laughs> oh, you understand? Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. No, well, that, that's the, that's I like the, <laughs> or, or you can say, what? Okay, let me what? explain. I is when I do something and me is when I receive something. Oh. oh, you see, that's kiss. Mejor lo mm -hmm. I, I keep it simple. <laughs> so, for example, I am going to call my mother. I am going to do the action, right? Oh, mm -hmm. my mother is going to call me. Oh, so now I will receive the action. So that is the difference between I and me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see, receive do you understand? The receive the action. For example, you have... Say, it's me. Uh, it's me. Mm -hmm. uh, calling me. Call me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. Call so that, that, mm -hmm. that's the difference. When you say I is when I do. When you say me is when I receive. No. Oh, okay. Now but, it's clear. I I think. <laughs> yeah. It's I like it better that way. I'm sorry. I like it better that way. The the kiss explanation. Yes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, me too. And you know, I don't know why, but when yo no tengo pena en preguntarme. When when I go to the mechanic or the doctor or the pharmacies and they give me this complicated explanation, I tell them, I'm sorry, I am not a mechanic. I don't understand that vocabulary. Can you explain it to me in a, in a baby form? 
Yeah, when you go to the mechanic, it didn't, yeah, like, es que el cigüeñal de, de Legendre, de no sé qué, porque la culata, no sé qué, y la, la what? <laughs> no, pero los doctores son los más sangrones. But... <laughs> Otorrinolaringólogo. Y ahí que tengo, fíjese que el, el ligamento que está en la parte superior del no sé qué, bla, 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 y empiezan a hablar como, like, are you serious? You expect me to understand? I don't understand. O sea, ¿qué tengo? Ah, ok, mire, esta es su rodilla, ¿eh? este es el hueso, atrás de este hueso, ahí tiene el golpe. Ah, ok, thank you. <laughs> It's that simple. So that's what I'm saying. So I will give you when you when you don't understand something, tell me, a hey, teacher, kiss, please. Because the lessons, the lessons here in the class are very um is very grammatical. Oh no, Irma, I is a subject pronoun that does the action of the verb that takes place when there's an object. And me is the object of the action receiving the verb by the uh because the action is doing it by the subject. You so said, okay. ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. then, yeah, do you understand? Uh-huh. No, you don't understand. So with yeah. more examples. Uh-huh. So then I I you know, in I know that people don't understand it, you know, like uh, you know it, it, por eso, se, y la razón de dónde salió kiss es porque uno siempre piensa cuando le explica a un niño. No han visto que cuando le explicamos a un niño hasta actuamos algo ton, como, así como, because we explain to the children very like, uh -huh, uh -huh. so por eso es kiss, ok. Yo de ahí aprendí, cuando no entiendo algo, le digo a alguien, mire, ¿me puede explicar como que si soy un niño de tres años? Que lo siento, no entiendo, no, me cuesta entender. Ah, ok. Y la mente quizás no es que me costó, sino que usted piensa de que usted estudió diez años para hablar así. Con esos términos, yo no. <ríe> ok, so, do you see my pre-inglés avanzado? Page. Yes, Yes, teacher. All right. Let's watch the intro video. Let me share sound. Let me share sound. Okay, let's listen to the video. Welcome. New course, new challenges. This is what we will do. We want you to watch. Can you hear? Yes, we can. yes, teacher. Yes, yes, teacher. Thing to be learned in this section is practicing it. We want you to watch it now and watch it at the end of the section, and you will see you will understand it better. Enjoy. Norman, I've got to go to the hardware store. Room twelve really needs work. Room twelve. Yeah. We're expecting guests soon. So take care of them, okay? Yes. Room 12. Thanks. Hi. 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 Hello. Hello. Anybody there? Sorry, hi. May I help you? Yes, we have reservations, Quincy, Ed, and Michelle, for two nights. Yes, Mr. Quincy, uh, you're in room 12. May I help you with your luggage? Oh, no, we're okay. We, we're just staying two nights. We don't have a lot of luggage. All right, well, I'll show you the way to your room. Follow me. Oh, watch that floorboard. It's loose. Be careful. Here's the temperature control. Press this button for air conditioning. This button to turn on the heat. Adjust the temperature with this dial. Bathroom's right in there. 
My name is Norman. Give me a call if you need anything. He was strange. We just got here and I'm already feeling stressed out. Hey, does it feel cold in here to you? Yeah. Hey, look. It's stuck. I'm gonna turn on the heat. This thing's broken. I'll call the front desk. Norman, we have a window that needs to be fixed and the heat needs to be checked too. Okay, thanks. He's on his way. That was nice of him. I still think he's strange. That was quick. <laughs> hey, hi. What's the problem? Oh, it's it's cold. Turn up the heat. The heat doesn't work. Well, what's wrong with it? The dial's broken. It came off in my hand. Well, that should do it. But we'll see. That window needs fixing too. It's stuck and it's letting the cold air in. At least it's warming up. Yeah, but look around. The paint is cracked and peeling. The nightstand is scratched. The curtains are torn. And the rug is worn and dirty. Actually, this place is a dump. You know what? It's getting really warm in here. Norman didn't fix anything. He just turned the temperature way up, and now it's stuck on high. I can't turn the heat off. Well, open the window. I'm on it. Ed? There's no water in here. Ugh, and I can't open this window. That does it. We're leaving. Something the matter? Everything's the matter. First of all, the thermostat is broken. It's too hot now. And the window is stuck, and there's no water. Everything needs to be fixed. Tell me he's not strange. Strange? He's out of his mind. Okay. <laughs> Have you ever had an experience like that? Uh, no. Thank God, no. <laughs> Too difficult. <laughs> uh, kind of. Bad service, bad customer service. You know, you know, I had an experience like that one time, but it was not directly with me. It was with my uncle. When I got married, my family came, and some of my family, they stayed in... um. What's that hotel? Intercontinental, I think. The one that's in front of Plaza Futura. Intercontinental is yes. from, from okay. Radisson. Radisson. Hotel right. Radisson. Okay, the Radisson. The Radisson. And um, my, um, my uncle was a little upset because the room where they were they 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 gave them they gave them a room 
that the intern the it didn't have internet. The internet was for the complete floor. So it was very bad connection and um the washer and the drying didn't work. And there was a party there that night, so then they didn't sleep at all. So uh -huh. so I went to pick him up, and then I see my uncle in the front desk. The front desk is where that man was, you know, the reception. Mm -hmm. And my, my uncle was very nice. He said, look, um, I am a little upset because I didn't sleep yesterday because of the party. The internet is bad and many things. And you know the response of the manager? What was it? His response was, do you want a suite? <laughs> so like for a $200 room, he was offering him, if you want, we can give you a $600 room. And my uncle said, <laughs> no. And I said, wait, 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 deal. Really? That's your response? Your response is... Eh, because he says, Caballero, y quisiera otro cuarto, una suite de 600 dólares. O sea, like, no, I'm sorry. Let me see what I can do. No. And <laughs> I got so angry. I'm, really? That is your response? So what can I do? While you're the manager. <laughs> I imagine this hotel, they train you. They give you training for, for situations like this for the customer. So no, what I can give is I can give him another room, but he will have to pay more. I, I was so angry. I wanted to punch him. Mm -hmm. I mean, for free, you can say that. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, for free. I, yeah, pues, okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> Um, yeah so okay um okay class look it's 10 today uh, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about this video tomorrow and we'll start originally the class tomorrow okay so remember um remember the expectations thank you for the people who are participating in class the people who are not it's okay try to have a camera and if you don't but please be active what's that i can saber que ellos están pues yes because if you know for respect okay Irma Galdames good luck in your in your first day tomorrow thank you so much thank you so much <laughs> yeah I'm very and remember to talk to Conquera oh with I don't remember check with on the me chat. Laura oh with Laura oh, yeah. with Laura <laughs> yeah that yeah, yeah. okay Okay, class, it was very, very nice to meet you. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Likewise. Thank you, okay, teacher. Bye. Have a good one. Have a good one, everyone. You too, thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night.